Hello my friends, this is Jason Semeliano from Smarter Incorporated again, here to bring you another TIBCO video tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'd like to teach you a certain concept in TIBCO called checkpointing. You use a checkpoint activity to basically save the state of your process instance. So if your process is running and you perform a checkpoint, TIBCO saves the all the information about that process instance into either a file or a database so that if you encounter an engine failure afterwards, after a checkpoint, by the time the engine comes back up and your service comes back to normal, it'll start back up at that certain checkpoint. It's a really neat feature and it's very, very useful, especially if you have a situation in which you cannot afford to lose any information whatsoever. So this is very, very nice. One of the things that makes TIBCO software really stand out. This, this make, they made it very, very easy to do checkpointing. It's, it's not that easy to do this with other programming languages. So very, very nice in TIBCO development. Makes it very easy for you to do. So let's move on to our TIBCO designer. This is one of the processes that we worked on before on a previous tutorial, the sending and receiving JMS messages. So please go ahead and complete that tutorial before you move on with this one. So how do you do checkpointing in TIBCO? It's really very easy. All you have to do is add an activity here. Under the general activities, you will see a checkpoint activity. Can you believe it? It's that simple. <laughs> Your job is done. Now that's you gotta applaud Tipco for for letting you making things so easy. Okay. So basically, when the process instance hits this checkpoint, it saves all the information about the process instance into a file or database. So let's take a look. Basically, it'll just run. Let's let's run this guy. Clear. Where are we here? Under JMS folder. I'm gonna run the send and the receive queue. Load. And then once this thing starts, I'm going to send a message. It's gonna be received by the JMS queue receiver. And look at that. I should rehearse these shows more so that I wouldn't have these little uh, uh, bloopers here. So I didn't start my JMS, my EMS server. So let me do that. I can just restart the whole recording, but hey, I want to be authentic. So let me stop that and let me start it again. Okay, there you go. Now it started. I just had to start my EMS server. So I'm going to throw a queue, a queue message into the queue. And it's going to be received, got checkpointed. So if it failed somewhere around here, suppose you had a lot more activities here, the next time it comes back up, it, it'll start at the checkpoint. And what I mean by failure is an engine failure. And you can also configure your BW, your BW uh, deployment so that if you ha encounter an unhandled exception, that can also be checkpointed. It can be restarted from the checkpoint. So I encourage you to read the documentation on this. But uh, let me let me point out a couple of things. Uh, there's another thing that's really neat about this checkpointing thing is that it it can help you prevent duplication. So let's let's take advantage of that feature. In your checkpoint, go to your input tab and notice you have a duplicate key here, and you can specify what do you want to look for so that that does not duplicate. So suppose. You have a, you want to take a look at your, the body of your message. Make sure that you do not receive duplicate messages. So you can use the body and let's, let's see, let's see how this works. So let's, let's stop this and start this again. Load selected. Okay. And I'm going to throw a first queue message and it's good to go. No problems. I'm going to send a second one. Take a look at what happens. As you can see, 
it's it's complaining that duplicate key hello world already used by job 11001 that's fantastic that, that allows you to detect duplications so the default here if you look at the documentation is 30 minutes so you can change that in your BW engine if you want to so basically for the next 30 minutes I cannot send a message with a body containing hello world so it's really nice it checkpoints it saves all the process of the all the the state of the process instance and then it also listens in for duplicate duplication so you won't have that problem that duplication feature of course is optional you don't have to listen for duplicate keys so that's those are the, the couple of things that you can do with with a checkpoint activity if you use a if you take advantage of the duplication feature make sure you put your checkpoint before stuff that you do not want to be duplicated okay so or my mouse here if you have stuff here that you cannot afford to be duplicated to be re-executed re you you'd want you'd want to put a checkpoint with a duplicate key prior to the activities that you that must not be repeated so that's what a checkpoint is I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you so again, this is Jason Semeliano from Smarter Incorporated. Thank you for all your support and thank you for continuing to watch our TIBCO video tutorials. Keep studying TIBCO, keep, keep learning it. This is a fantastic tool and uh, the more you get to know it, the more you will fall in love with it. Thank you everyone. Have a wonderful day. Take care.